So here it is, the Korg Nano Key Studio. It's probably my most used piece of gear in my studio, and I'll tell you why in a minute. It has eight assignable knobs, which personally I like more than encoders because I always know where my settings are at. It has eight paths, which have many different functions. We'll get to that later, and a 25 key keyboard, and an XY pad, model after the chaos pad. The XY pad's pretty cool because you can assign it to be different things. You can do pitch mod like normal. You can also have it be XY, which you can assign to any kind of parameters you want. But it also has something called touch scale, which allows you to play your notes on it. This can be a really cool way of getting kind of random notes or melodies or just odd stuff, especially if you have the ARP on. And the ARP has a lot of different patterns. You end up using the shift tap button a lot to change all these parameters, which I wish were in a better position. I wish it were maybe somewhere up at the top or anywhere where it's not between two other buttons because you end up using it a lot and, and it's kind of hard to get to. It has Bluetooth, it has USB, and can be battery operated. And I think it just takes two or three AA or AAA, so something super, super easy. It's pretty durable. I have no hesitation just tossing this in my backpack. I recently brought it on a trip. I didn't put it in a case. I just threw it in a backpack with a bunch of other stuff and it worked fine. But because it is Bluetooth and USB, it's possible to play two things at the same time. So if I go into like MIDI meter or MIDI meter, turn it on, I could connect the, the Nano Key Studio. I also can connect the OPZ. which is kind of cool. So that's fun. I find this is also useful if you're using some kind of app on your phone, like I have the Moog Model D app and I use the Korg Nano Key Studio to control that and then have the audio out on my phone into Ableton. The chord pad function is really cool too because it turns your pads into automatic chords in the key and scale that you've already set. So that's your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. You get an octave in it. And you could change what octave they're in it as well. But it's really great for sketching out ideas or making quick songs. But my absolute favorite feature, and this is why it gets used the most, is what's called Easy Scale. Now, a lot of the scale guides that you know Ableton has built in will just move the wrong note to the right note. So let's say you're in C minor and you play the 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 E, it'll just take this and move it down to the E flat. What Korg does differently. And it's great for people like me who don't know my scales. Is just reassign the MIDI notes to each of the white keys. To set the scale, you press shift and scale type, and you see everything kind of light up. So we got, I believe this major, mixolydian, and minor. So I, I use mostly just major and minor. And then to set the key, you start on C and you use the shift and octave buttons to go through. So this would be A minor, B flat minor, B minor, and then this would be, where are we on? C major, B major. Oh, we have ARP still on. Let's change the scale type. So 
So that's fun if you're doing something like that using the XY pad. It does have the scale guide, which tells you uh, with lit, lit up keys where your scales are, which is useful for learning. I don't use that so much because the easy scale is just so easy to use. And because of how small this is, I can take it anywhere and it's become my go-to. What I don't love about it, besides the where the shift tap button is, is kind of the feel of it, right? The keys are these plasticky, straight down press type situations, as opposed to like a nice, something on a, on a fulcrum or some kind of access. So if you kind of hit it the wrong way, it, it catches a little bit, which I don't love but I think it makes up for it in, in other ways. If I had to get just one MIDI controller to bring with me on a desert island, I definitely think it would be this one, just because of how easy it makes writing melodies and soloing in easy scale. That's it for the Korg Nano Key Studio. Uh, I highly recommend it. I have a couple other MIDI controllers I'll do reviews for in the future, so subscribe and stay tuned, and it'll tell you what I like about them. Cheers.